Uh, good day, everyone. You are Group 3 of 2HR1, and today we will digest the case of Bank of the Philippine Islands versus the U.S. GR number 184122. So the following are the respondents. Norman and Angelina Yu and the Tuanson Builders Corporation, represented by President Norman Yu. Petitioner, the Bank of the Philippine Islands Incorporated. And we are here now to uh, state the facts of the case. Fact number one, Norman and Angelina Yu doing business as Tuanson Trading and Tuanson Builders Corporation borrowed various sums totaling 75 million pesos from Far East Bank and the Trust Company. In 1999, they were unable to pay their loans. The youth and the Tuanson Builders requested a loan restructuring, which the bank now merged with BPI granted. The youth loans now balanced to that 33.4 million. The restructured loan used the same collaterals with the exception of transfer certificates of Title 40247 that secured a loan of 6 million pesos. No, fact number three, they asked BPI to release some of the mortgage lands since their total appraised value far exceeded the amount of their remaining debt. When BPI ignored their request, the youth withheld payments and, uh, on their amortizations. Thus, BPI extrajudicially foreclosed the mortgage properties in the Gaspi City and Pilita Marina Sur. Okay. Fact number four, on October 24, 2003, the youths filed their new complaint before the, new, the Regional Trial Court of the Gaspi City, Branch 1, in Civil Case 10286 against BPI for recovery of alleged excessive penalty charges, the attorney's fees, and foreclosure expenses that the bank caused to be incorporated in the price of auction properties. Fact number five, BPI essentially admitted the foreclosure of the mortgage properties for 39 million pesos, broken down as follows. 33.3 million as principal debt, 2.1 million as interest, and 3.6 million as penalty charges. BPI qualified that the total of 39 million pesos corresponded only to the use debt as date of filing of the petition. The notice of the auction sale said that the total was inclusive of interest, penalty charges, attorney's fees, and expenses of this foreclosure. BPI also admitted that MagnaCraft submitted the highest and winning bid of 45.5 million pesos. So as for fact number seven, three causes of action against BPI that do you use? The bank imposed excessive penalty charges and interest over 5 million pesos in penalty charges computed at 36% per annum compared to the 12% per annum. In addition, BPI collected a 14% yearly interest on the principal, bringing a combined penalty charges and interest to 50% of the principal per annum. BPI also imposed a charge of 4 million pesos as attorney's fee, the equivalent of 10% of the principal interest and penalty charges. And lastly, BPI did not provide documents to support its claim for foreclosure expenses of 446,000 pesos and cost of publication of 518,000 pesos. For fact number eight, as, a, as an alternative, the use claimed that BPI was in estoppel. Consequently, it must turn over the excess bid of 6 million pesos. Fact number nine, RTC granted only a partial summary judgment. It reduced the penalty charge of 36% per annum to 12% per annum until the debt would have been full paid but maintained the attorney's fee as reasonable. And as for fact number 10, RTC needed to receive evidence for the resolution of the issues because number one, whether or not the foreclosure and the publication expenses were justified. Number two, whether or not the foreclosure 
of the lot in Pelica Marina Sur was valid? And for number three, whether or not BPI was entitled for its counterclaim. On January 3, 2006, the Regional Trial Court reconsidered its earlier decision and rendered summary judgment. Number one, deleting the penalty charges imposed by BPI for non-compliance with the Truth in Lending Act. Number two, reducing the attorney's fees to 1% of the principal and interest. Number three, upholding the reasonableness of their foreclosure expenses and cost of publication, both with interests. Number four, reiterating the turnover by the clerk of court of the use of the excess in the bid price. Number five, deleting the use claim for moral damages they have waived it. Deni number six, denying the use claim for attorney's fees for lack of basis. And number seven, dismissing BPI's court claim for moral and exemplary damages and for attorney's fees for lack of merit, reconsidering that summary judgment has been rendered in favor of the use. On January 23, 2008, BPI appealed to the Court of Appeals, which they were denied, and the Court of Appeals affirmed that the Regional Trial Court's decision The Court of Appeals correctly affirmed that the Regional Trial Court's order to reduce it from 10% to 1% based on the following reasons. Number one, attorney's fee is not essential to the cost of borrowing, but a mere incident of collection. Number two, 1% is just adequate because BPI had already charged foreclosure expenses. Number three, Attorney fee of 10% of the total amount due is onerous considering the road effort that goes into extrajudicial extra foreclosures. Wherefore, the court denies the petition and affirms the Court of Appeals decision dated January 23, 2008, subject to the restoration of the penalty charge of 12% per annum or 1% per, 1 per month the amount due computed from date of non-payment or November 25, 2001. So this is the case of Bank of the Philippine Islands versus Hughes, GR number 184122. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.